Today's experiment is to see if the Arctic air, which is a little evaporative cooler, a little swamp cooler, can keep the inside of my ambulance cool on a fairly warm day. Uh, the, well, the high ex is expected to be 81, which is similar to yesterday. And yesterday, inside the ambulance, it got up to about 92 degrees. So pretty warm, uh, uncomfortable. So I've seen this little Arctic Air at uh, hardware stores. I think it's advertised on TV as well. And it's a little, small little cube, basically that has a little water reservoir on the top, a little filter. Uh, basically, it just soaks up water and, the, and then it blows the air th across the, those wet pads. Um, it does have little vents that you can adjust up and down. And it uh, has a light that they say is a UV light that purifies as it cools. So, uh, I'm not parked in the shade. I'm at a, at a park where I, sometimes I go to hang out, do some hiking. Uh, there are some trees in the parking lot where some people park under. I am not under any trees. I'm out exposed fully to the sun. The front of my vehicle, the cab of the, the ambulance, is closed off. You can see the door is shut because um, that heats up pretty quickly. I do have the windows up front there open to let some air flow through. There is a, a slight breeze. Um, that's about three, let me see, three, right around three miles an hour uh, is the breeze. So I'm going to try this. It's got three speeds, low, medium, and high. Uh, the lights that, you know, the, the, LED, the UV light. Um, and... Let's see, what else do I need to tell you about this thing? Um, they say it lasts up to 10 hours per fill. Uh, I guess that depends on if you, what, what speed you have it on, low, medium, or high. Um, you can see the top of it. You have your speed control, then your lights. You can change the color of the lights, or you can just have it kind of alternate uh, between different colors, kind of like a mood light. You add your water in the top here, and they have on the side where they say that it should go to this line, which is about where I've got it. They say to pre-soak the filter uh, for best results. You can even put it in the freezer or fridge, and you can add ice to cool the water down um, to just start off with. I have it hooked up to a 500 watt inverter which is plugged in well, it's kind of a mess right now here with all the wires but it's plugged into the battery that's being charged by the uh, the solar panels and you can see the voltage right there 14.1 um, so I'm not too concerned about this draining the battery uh, there's enough solar that will keep it charged. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The current temperature is 73 degrees. Like I said yesterday it got up to about 92 inside here. So I'm going to see if this will maintain it and a lot of it's just because of her. I want to keep it cool in here for her. Um, and I want to see how well this does. I do have the fan, the vent open on the, the roof. And it is on its lowest setting. It, it's just kind of uh, pulling the hot air that rises out through that vent. So if needed, I can also turn that fan on. It's off right now. But we'll go ahead and turn this on, and I think I'll see if it'll run on high for a while. Um, and it is cool air right away because it is blowing that 
across the wet pads. You can see the color. I guess there's some sort of UV light in there. Um, but you can alternate. Which probably is nice at night. And if this works out well, I'll, I would likely during the day put it down on the ground where she can sit in front of it and relax. She's a little pooped right now. She just had a good hike. So she's just chilling out, looking out the window there. And I will report back to you later in the day as it heats up outside uh, how well this works with the temperature inside, if it maintains it in the 70s or if it still goes up to the 90s that's kind of my curia my uh my test okay well it's about 12 30 in the afternoon and as you saw the temperature inside the vehicle here is about 83 degrees which according to accuweather is the temperature outside uh, 83 degrees here in Prescott Valley so this little evaporative cooler is doing a pretty good job at keeping things comfortable in here um, normally right now this time of the day with the temperature outside that what it is uh, it would probably be in the low 90s inside here already um, just because this is a metal box, you know, it's all aluminum, insulated pretty well. So, once it starts heating up inside, once that, you know, the, 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 the skin or the aluminum on the outside starts heating up, it starts heating up in here as well, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, much, much warmer than outside. So this is keeping us right about the same temperatures, the outside weather, um, which is comfortable right now. My dog, she went back to her little bed and looking out the window. She's come out a few times and sat in front of it just to chill out. Um, I've only added water once to top it off, so it's it's sipping pretty pretty slowly the water um, and it's doing a pretty good job I wouldn't recommend this for you know probably when it's in the 90s uh, definitely not if you're down in Phoenix um, you know when it gets into 100 degrees this wouldn't be able to really do anything um, I had it up here on the counter for a while on this, this little uh, table but then I moved it back down just so she can come out and sit in front of it and relax. Um, but like I said, it's comfortable inside. And if I really wanted to, I could buy another one of these. You know, they're pretty small and expensive. Um, I could easily run two of them off of the, the battery the, and the solar that I've got right now. Um, and, you know, put one down there and then one up high, and that might even make a bigger difference. Um, when I was in Phoenix during the summer last year, I had a larger EVAP cooler inside here. Um, but it took up a lot of space, and I could only run it when it was on, uh, when I was plugged into shore power. Um, so this, I think, is a good alternative when I'm in a mild weather area um, such as Prescott where it's in the 80s low 80s maybe you know a little warmer as the summer goes along but nothing too extreme I uh, have had no problems with the, the little inverter powering it and the, uh, I probably can't see it but the the uh, the solar is having no problem either, keeping up, charging everything. Um, I 
think we're at about let's see that's the battery temperature outside in the compartment 13.7 volts um, around 21 volts at 2 amps so I think about 42 watts is what the panels are are, are charging the, the battery um, but it's pretty full it looks like already um, so that's my uh, my take or my review of the little Arctic Air it is kind of a little noisy you can hear it it's on high um, at night could put it on the lowest setting and it's not too bad not too loud and you can see that the lights just kind of it's alternating between different colors right now so I could at night you know if it I could run it for a while it, on that low setting it, I guess it could run for about 10 hours um, if it's not too warm it, it doesn't use a whole lot of water and uh, kind of keep everything comfortable in here at night so let's go back up oh there's off and then the first setting is the high uh, they, a couple things they do say that this is uh, you can put the little filter in the dishwasher you can sanitize it or disinfect it or by throwing it in the microwave also uh, to kill any bacteria or anything like that um, but you know it's doing a pretty good job pretty cool air uh, and it so it's, it's gonna work out great I think you know as long as it's the temperature outside is not too extreme uh, it'll be a good little place for her to a way for her to stay cool